In the summer of 2012, I went on an amazing adventure and became a scientist on a 146 foot long ship called the Hugh R. Shark. I lived aboard the ship for 11 days, working with scientists from a government group called NOAA to study sea scallops in the North Atlantic Ocean. Participating in the scientific process at sea and seeing the sea critters was absolutely fascinating. Scallops are related to oysters, clams, and mussels, a group of animals without a backbone that have two shells. These are called bivalves. There are more than 200 different types of scallops, but our research focused on the Atlantic sea scallop. They are bigger than most species of scallops and are usually about the size of my hand when they're full grown. People really like to eat scallops. So, lots of people harvest scallops from the ocean to sell. In fact, it is currently the most valuable fishery in the United States. NOAA sends scientists out for six weeks every year to study the scallop population to see how harvesting is impacting them. NOAA uses the data gathered from its survey to help decide if an area should be open or closed for fishing. We gathered this data in two ways with an underwater camera and by dredging. We gathered data from more than 100 different locations during my time at sea and more than 400 locations over the course of the entire six week survey. All the dredge in the HabCam locations were determined before setting sail to make sure that we studied a variety of different areas. The newly developed underwater camera system is called HabCam. It takes six pictures per second as it's towed through the ocean behind the ship. We controlled the HabCam from the computer lab on the ship. We called it flying the HabCam. It made me kind of nervous to be responsible for a one-of-a-kind, million-dollar piece of scientific equipment flying on the end of a cable underwater, but luckily I never crashed it. The pictures that came back from the HabCam were fascinating but it took a lot of work to go back and count all the sea scallops and the millions of pictures when people got back to shore. We also gather data by dredging. Dredging is basically dragging a really heavy duty net behind the ship across the ocean floor for about 15 minutes, then pulling it to the surface and dumping the net on the deck of the ship to see what we caught. After the dredge was dumped, we all gathered around a big sorting table and started to sort the haul into different baskets, kind of like laundry baskets. These scallops in one basket, fish in another, etc. After sorting the haul, we had to weigh and measure the scallops fish and a few other critters. All of this data was added to a computer database to be combined with other data later. We're talking about a ton of data.
Yeah. Well, back on shore, the data is analyzed by scientists and mathematicians who look for patterns and trends in the data. They compare the data to previous years to make logical inferences to help them make recommendations about what areas of the ocean should be open for fishing for scallops and what areas should be closed for harvesting scallops. It was absolutely amazing to collect the data and equally fascinating to try to figure out the story that the data tells.